am I thinking my thoughts or am I entering into a level of consciousness that attunes with a quality of thought that belongs to the field of thought? Mm. And depending on where I am, that's a thought that actually enter me. So for example, if I'm feeling angry, like angry thoughts are going to enter. But if I'm in like a state of like full, open-hearted, blissful love, not in the transaction of love, but in the beingness of love, it's almost impossible to have an angry thought. Like I can try and have one, but it's like I can't locate it. So I was just thinking even then it's like, I like even then it's like, am I the thinker of the thought or am I the receiver of the thought depending on what state I'm in that I'm attuning to the field of thought that I am now able to open up to, to receive and to transmit? Yeah, it, at that point, it's like a uh, big hall of mirrors opens up. And is that mine? Do I own it? And am I the sole creator of that thing in a vacuum from all the rest of thought? Or is thought part of a greater field, right? Like, is there a greater field of thought? Is there like a collective mind and we're nodes of that mind? And it's filled with all the potential thoughts. And we tap into that and we become a channel for it. That's what we used to call spirits in ayahuasca, like your own spirits. The, the indigenous people would say, oh, those are spirits. Those aren't thoughts, like the angry ones and mm. the blissful ones and the joyful ones. They would actually call those thought matrices uh, spirits. And they would say, oh, you took on the angry spirits and you'd have to purge the angry spirits. And when you did, then you would feel good and you wouldn't be angry anymore. And they treated it like there was a big matrix of this. And that those would go and new ones would come and you would then think differently. So there is some evidence to represent an idea that while we're thinking the egoic identification of, oh, those are my thoughts, that's me creating those thoughts might actually just be an orientation of that phenomena. And there actually is a much bigger creative mind out there. Yeah. Yeah. When I was um, in contemplation around that, it was it was quite illuminating. And, and I was just thinking maybe the only thing, and this is where I really landed with this idea of relationship with self, is where is my level of consciousness in any given moment, which attunes me to a certain place of the quality of thought I can have, because the quality of thought is going to affect my feelings, emotions, behaviors, actions. So it felt like Maybe the place of self-mastery is to allow myself to enter into a certain state, frequency, vibration. And then from that place, maybe everything else starts to kind of self-balance. Mm -hmm.